we have ordinal data, the appropriate type of bar graph to use is a histogram. To demonstrate building a histogram, I'll first come up to the graph button on the menu at the top of the output window. Come down to chart builder again like usual. And instead of choosing the histogram type under gallery, what I will instead is select bar. And again we'll go back and use click and drag the simple bar option. I'm going to pull which is church attendance. Click and drag that over. Put it in the x-axis box and you'll see count is reported for this variable at this point. And now I simply will click OK. Not a true histogram because the bars have a gap between them. Instead, histograms should have no gaps. The bars should be touching. Also, we have not added any titles or footnotes to the data source for this chart. So let's go back and modify the chart with those ideas in mind. I'll move the cursor on top of the somewhere in the chart and double click the left mouse button to open the chart editor. Now once I do that, the first thing I'll do is to click on one of the bars. Up comes the property of the bars off to the right hand side of our screen. And what I'm going to choose now will be bar options. Underneath bar options, you'll notice under width bars, I will click and drag to bring this indicator all the way to the right. And you'll notice that what it indicates is that there will be no gap between the bars. And I'll click Apply. And now we have what really is, more appropriately, a histogram. I'll click Close. Titles and a footnote to this chart. Once we've already created the chart, while we're in Chart Editor, we'll take advantage of some of the buttons that Chart Editor provides for us towards the top. The first one we'll do is we'll choose the Insert Title button by left mouse clicking once. Double click now on top of the word title and that's where I can enter text. And I will place in the text the title Respondent Frequency of Church Attendance. Or maybe just Respondent Church Attendance. Hit Enter. Now to add a second title that will be above that, again click on the Insert Title button and you notice it provides a dialog box, or a text box rather, where I can add a first level title, double click the word title, and now I'll type in Histogram. Enter to get out of that. And now I will also add a footnote. Click on the insert footnote button, double click on the text box on the word footnote, and type in source 2008 general social survey. Enter to get out of that. And now what I can do also is add value labels by clicking on the Show Data Labels button. And now I'll select Close. And we have our modified histogram. Modified the bar graph to reflect a histogram. One of the things that you'll notice is that there are so many categories that are in this variable that when we have the variable labels listed down towards the bottom, they're all scrunched pretty well together. Now this would be a good situation where a horizontal histogram would be more appropriate. To do that, double click on the chart, the histogram, come up 
and select the Transpose Chart Coordinate System button. And now you see that we have the bars that are listed from more than once a week to never. Perhaps I'd like to reorder that. Instead, start with the very top bar being never and the bottom bar being more than once a week. I will double click on one of the bars. I will now come over under the Categories tab of Properties. Instead of Ascending Direction for the sort, I will choose Descending. And again, this does not offer the order based upon the frequency of each response, but instead the value that's entered in to represent each response in the data set. I will click Apply. And you notice now we have our chart that's never at the beginning and more than once a week at the bottom. And if we're done with that, just close the chart editor and we're back to our output window. And you notice in the log is the modified histogram. ordinal variable can also be visually displayed using a line chart or a polygon. Select the graph menu to open that menu. Come down to chart builder, left mouse click to open the chart builder. I will reset our chart type and variable. What I will do now is come down and select line category under gallery, choose from, not just choose the simple line since we'll just be plotting one variable. I'll use church attendance once again, highlighting that variable in the variables list to the left, click and drag and put it down in the box for x-axis. Now I may click OK. And we see the same distribution that we plotted a moment ago as a histogram that is plotted now as a polygon. I'm going to modify the polygon very simply. I'll move my cursor on top of the plot area, double left, double left mouse click, and the first thing I'll do, again double click in the plot area, is I will have transparent fill. I will also change the weight of the border surrounding the plot area to 2. Click Apply and you see now a thicker border. But I would also like to change the line that's plotted. I'll move my cursor on top of the line, double left, left mouse click and you'll see now it's highlighted. I'll change the weight to make it 2, make it thicker, easier to see. And I also will change the color of the line click in the line color box. Now I'll come over and I'll choose, let's say, a green and click apply. Now there we have our line if we're done. Merely click the button to close it to get out of the chart editor and our line or polygon for the frequency religious service attendance has now been added to our output log. I'd like to demonstrate for plotting an ordinal variable is an ogive or a polygon for a cumulative distribution. Select again, open the graph menu, come down and select chart builder, We'll use the same variable, church attendance, and again we'll keep the simple line graph that we've chosen before. But now we'll go over to the Element Properties dialog box, and you'll notice under the statistic, it's listed count. Frequency is what's going to be reported. Left mouse click on the down arrow, you notice the different options of things that we can report. We can report a cumulative count, and that would be the cumulative distribution for frequency, that's one ogive. We then see percent, 
and underneath percent a cumulative percent which again would be an ogive. So I'll click on cumulative percent, click apply, and click OK. And now we have our ogive for church attendance.